South End, more or less on sea, just about epitomises the Cockney holiday spirit. And in a Whitsuntide, nobody will forget, if you went overdressed, it was perfect. Relaxing was lovely. In a crowd like that, nobody is conspicuous. You can just do what you like. Look what they won. They ought to go in for beat the clock. Fast and furious, just the thing to settle the midday meal. Manchester gave a reminder that Whitson is a religious festival. Altogether, 20,000 children took part in the traditional procession of witness. It was begun by Sunday schools 159 years ago and has been a Whitmundy institution ever since. Every Anglican church in Manchester provided its contingent to walk in the procession to the cathedral. The procession, said the bishop and the dean of Manchester, bears witness that the gospel is a living reality. Gosling Stadium, out at Welling Garden City, it was kart race day. That's the latest form of motor racing, and it's catching on all over the country. Brian Jordan and other racers in this field think nothing of hurtling their carts around the track at 70 miles an hour. This meeting had RAC blessing, which shows that carts have come up in the world recently. And speaking of that 70 miles an hour, that's some speed when the seat of your pants is only about two and a half inches clear of the tarmac. The track at Wellen is 550 yards long and most of the races were of 10 laps. The engines were in the 100 to 200 cc class. The winner now was Brian Jordan. That chap Brabham has looked to his laurels. It's Olympic Games here, and for that dedicated runner, Gordon Perry, that means more limelight than ever. In the 3,000 metres, could he repeat the triumph of the first day and be first at the tape as he was in the 1,500? What a marvellous double that would make. The British Games meeting was sponsored by the News of the World. Perry was up against the best runners in Europe over this distance. Early on, he was content to be led by G.E. Everett, who was acting as pacemaker. Now Everett was followed by A.D. Gordon and Derek Ibbotson, Piri in fourth place. After two and a half laps, Chris Kobiak of Poland took the lead, Piri just behind him. Last lap, Piri took the lead and Rossovolgi began to challenge. Gordon beat the Hungarian in the 1500 and it looked like a Piri victory again. Yes, it was the 3,000 metres for Gordon Perry. His time, 7 minutes, 57.2. On this form, he looks pretty well certain of an Olympic gold medal.